வணக்கம் மீண்டும் என் பாட்காஸ்டில் உங்களை நான் வரவைக்கிறேன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை பாட்காஸ்ட் வினோத் தம்பி சார் லாட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் படிங்க ஆஃப் ராபர்ட் கிரீன் டோட்டி தேர் ஃபார்ட்டி எயிட் லாஸ் பியர் அட் லாட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் லாட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் ப்ளே அ சக்கர் டு கேச் அ சக்கர் சீம் டமர் தென் யோர் மார்க் No one likes feeling stupider than the next person. The trick then is to make your victim feel smart. Not just smart, but smarter than you are. Once convinced of this, they will never suspect your ulterior motives. The reversal of the law is, at the start of your climb to the top, you cannot play too stupid. You may want to let your boss, bosses know in a subtle way that you are smarter than your competition around you. As you climb the ladder, you should... to some degree try to dampen your brilliance a show of intelligence can help you get out of a scrap so nanu it is one the variation of the first law we discussed never outshine the master and this is true of in any corporate world if you you show your boss you are more capable and more intelligent than him that's the end of your career you cannot go far always you have to tamp it down always show the boss it's your idea always show the boss that he is smarter than you even if you are planting something smart you have to say it has come out of the boss and the boss is always right in fact i have a part of a poster for chimpanzee remember big poster in your house the boss is always right to know korango kandanrama chimpanzee it says the boss is always right so this is that law there are times in your career when you have an idiot for a boss but at that time you have to show that you are a greater idiot if you want to move on it is one especially true in government and other service it is ninga manmo mantik singh ahawale out a book backstage apdi nirikkaru that is his career as a bureaucrat and uh, actually he will be in the world bank or imf in america and uh, manmohan singh will tempt him to bring him back into government and here is a guy who is an ms from oxford he did be economics in stephens college ms uh, ma economics from oxford he is an imf imf guy he is a hot shot guy He is married a girl, Aishwar Judge Ahuwalia, who is a PhD in economics. And uh, they come back to India. And it is not that Montek is a son of a very big guy. His mother worked as a librarian. His father was a low-level government clerk. By sheer dint of hard work, our anger upon our anger upon our. So, he will come and join the government. on the first day first one week after manmohan singh has brought him in as a special entry he is manmohan singh's junior 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 that there are two or three people ahead of manmohan singh and uh, here he is manmohan singh's prime disciple destined to do great things in future put under an ias officer who has absolutely no idea of what is happening and uh, he is given dumb work to do he describes that officer who does not who kills all his creative instincts and his ideas of changing things and uh, he will describe it brilliantly there he will from, he is come from imf there is where there is a lot to do suddenly he will find that where there is practically nothing to do for him. ஒன்றும் இல்லை பண்ணுறதுக்கு நான் ஆகிடும் ஸோ ஒரு டென் ஆர் ஃபிஃப்டீன் டேஸ் ஆகிடும் தென் டூ வீக்ஸ் லேட்டர் ஹி வில் மீட் பன்மோகன் சிங் அவுட் சைட் தி கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃபீஸ் அண்ட் தென் ஹி மன்மோகன் சிங் வில் டெல் யூ வெல்கம் டு இந்தியா திஸ் இஸ் த வே திங்ஸ் கோஸ் ஒர்க்ஸ் அண்ட் யூ கே நாட் சேஞ்ச் இட் ஸோ தெல் பி ரொட்டீன் ஒர்க் வில் கீப் ஆன் கோயிங் அண்ட் யூ ஹாவ் டு டூ இட் இட் வில் பி போரிங் once in a way you can inject your ideas and make it seem like it is your boss's idea and your enjoyment is it is getting implemented 
the book doesn't say it in so many words but one more thing will tell him you can inject your ideas once in a way in your work so basically manmohan singh is coaching his future protege on how to deal with bureaucracy adhe madri ipo vande he is of course with this government to take the bribe there will be a committee and the committee la chairman is manmohan singh and uh, member secretary is bebek the bright so even before the committee meets manmohan singh will discuss the agenda of the dictate the outcome and the agenda of the committee meeting to him so in that bebek will say why are we doing this even before the committee meets he says boss this is a government committee we have to guide it in a particular way otherwise nothing will get done இதில் வந்து இது ஒன்று இன்னொரு இன்சிடென்ட் மூணாவது இன்சிடென்ட் எனக்கு ஞாபகம் இருக்கிறது நைன்டி ஒன் ரிஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆர் இட்ஸ் பேர்னிங் தே ஹாவ் டு டூ ரிஃபார்ம்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸோ நியூ இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் பாலிசி இஸ் பீங் ட்ராஃப்டட் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி கன்சிடர்ட் இன் தி கேபினெட் இன் தோஸ் டேஸ் காங்கிரஸ் வாஸ் ப்ரைமர்லி அ லெஃப்ட் ஆஃப் சென்ட்ரல் பார்ட்டி எ சோஷலிஸ்ட் பார்ட்டி and uh, narasimha rao is doing away with uh, entire uh, industrial license and uh, anybody can make anything in a manufacturing policy kondor and the samayathila there is great opposition in the cabinet and everybody opposes it and says this is anti nehru and uh, anti indira and but this has to be passed so they give it to jairaj manmohan singh and rao give it to jairam ramesh jairam sir and uh, he goes back and drafts the whole thing in a different way about how nehru's great vision for india and how he want to see it industrialized how this is an extension of that policy huh and this is nehru's policy in the book back to brink in or back to from the brink abdi no book here which is the only account of what happened in the first 100 days of narasimha rao government right so on the book la our jairam sir here so in that he told me how i know him personally and so he told me how nanmohan singh and narasimha rao said he drafted in such a way get it passed so the same thing he concocted concocts it as nehru's vision for the future and immediately it is passed and industrial licensing is abolished so there are times when you have to adapt and look dumb to get things done i have given you three examples all between 91 and 93 94 montex slightly earlier so that you have a rough idea how india's economic reforms was done there is final story i will tell you you know and then you can na kadasi kadaya solidra adukapra neenga unga idea solidra rupee on the devalue point devaluation is actually good for the country much other than what we say a strong rupee is untenable ipa kuda yen vandu is at a 25 year low because it suits japan right this is what is reality in 91 we were artificially pegged at 8 or 9 rupees to a dollar knowing fully well we don't have a single dollar in reserves so they had to bring it down in three steps so they call it hop skip and jump right so modern vati c rangarajan is the reserve bank governor manmohan singh is the finance minister narasimha rao is the prime minister these are the three key players and this those days market won't determine the rate the reserve bank will fix the rate now it has become market determined enna pandraru first day first day they define 
first to hop and skip they do it very easily and no there is some reaction in the market when the skip happens everybody says india's sovereignty india vegali adu idu ella pesa arangiranga adukapra enna aduduna the jump is supposed to be the big devaluation r venkat raman is the president and he does not want uh, he calls narasimha rao and tells him reminds him what happened to indira gandhi and don't devalue him sir so that day morning it is supposed to be devalued so at around about uh, 9 o'clock 8:45 the prime minister calls the finance minister and tells the finance minister please we stop the, uh, the jump portion let's stop with hop and skip so one one thing is yes sir i will do it and this is about 10 minutes before the announcement so he waits for it to be 9 at 9 5 19 he puts a call through to the reserve bank governor and 910 nagarajan says manmohan is already gone they are both of the same age almost same age she says manmohan is already done there is nothing i can do the press release is out knowing fully well this will happen he has delayed it by 15 minutes if he wanted he could have called and stopped it <coughs> he allowed 15 minutes to pass right and after he allowed 15 minutes to pass he calls it and says boss i tried my best but by the time you called the press release had already gone there is nothing we can do the move was undoubtedly a great success india is where it is today because of those steps but this is these are good examples of this law so let me know ninga vandu talking about current history la giving good examples now and i was reading this book called hugli about the history yeah. of the river hugli and uh, history of bengal from the time yeah. way back history to current events what's happening all around the river hugli and in one chapter yeah. they talk about what happens in the battle of uh, plassey yeah the battle of yeah. plassey so there was this uh, mogul ruler at the time nawab siraj yes. ul dulan siraj ul dulan the mogul governor of bengal Okay. he had a and the jagat set up pathi namma pesta ama so he had this guy who was a commander his trusted commander was this guy called mir jafar so anyway mir jafar vandu is a trusted commander of this guy nawab but what happens this uh, he is very very ambitious and an opportunistic man this mir jafar which uh, this nawab knows about but at the same time he is cautious of it but uh, in a moment yeah. of uh, some uh, confrontation between both of them he demotes him that demotion leads to mir jafar backstabbing him so what mir jafar does is seri and demote pantani he doesn't lash out or anything he swallows it he swallows his pride and he takes it and he waits patiently acting like a fool to telling the nawab man your boss i am nobody i am your humble servant i am your humble servant na back door channels he opens negotiations with the british and he signs a treaty with them where the british promise if you help us kill this guy this one nawab we will make you our dummy nawab give you the crown and you and me can be friends this is an example of what happened how mir jafar helped the british topple and this is true throughout indian history most of the time indian kings and indian uh, what do you call uh, nawabs and rajas all fell due to someone inside who was a trusted lieutenant or a trusted person who backstabs them even in the case of tipu sultan he had a guy in his cabinet minister mir sadiq who was part of his uh, cabinet that guy betrays him who opened the Correct. door in the siege of sirangapatnam he is the guy who opens the door and allows uh, the british to get inside and uh, kills uh, his loyalists and finally the troops tipu's troops are so upset about how he betrayed him and he finally he is also killed by the troops i think you can add a little more flavor to this anna so this is what i told you about jagat set jagat set is the man who financed the buying of mir jafar na munna neethe pesna madhi 
வைர பாண்டிய கட்டபொம்மனில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா எட்டப்பன் ஒருத்தன் வந்து பிட்ரை பண்ணுவான் ஹீ வில் பி மேட் தி கிங் ஆஃப் எட்டயபுரம் அண்ட் த ராஜா ஆஃப் எட்டயபுரம் அவன் தான் மகாகவி பாரதிக்கு சான்ஸ் கொடுப்பான் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி இஸ் ஃபுல் ஆஃப் திஸ் அண்ட் கார்பரேட் எஸ் அண்ட் கார்பரேட்ஸ் ஆர் ஸ்ட்ரூவன் வித் திஸ் கார்பரேட்ஸ் ஆர் ஸ்ட்ரூவன் வித் திஸ் கார்பரேட் பேட்டில்ஸ் ஆர் அப்சல்யூட்லி ஸ்ட்ரூவன் வித் திஸ் எஸ்பெஷலி இன் அமெரிக்கா வேர் தி போர்ட் இஸ் தி சிஇஓ ஒன் ஃபேமிலி டஸ் நாட் கண்ட்ரோல் தி கம்பெனி தி சிஇஓ கேன் பி டர்ன்ட் over and uh, the ceo can be knocked over bob amelio no tarna guy amelio sorry i'm telling guy amelio avana ceo va ulla kondu varanga to turn around the, the scully john scully goal uttu adukapra unnur aalu undu goal uttu the guy amelio kutti varanga the guy amelio enna pandra he goes to steve jobs and says boss you are the guy who can save apple and he is brought in as a consultant avana pandra steve jobs he shorts the apple mark in the market brings the stock down and does a coup and get rid of gaia melio and becomes a interim ceo gaia melio is the guy who went and bought back steve jobs steve jobs avane kothru but today there is a halo on steve jobs you cannot talk about all that because his legacy is much bigger than what he did yeah but he was absolutely petty minded guy in the sense that other people idea of steel pandradala steve jobs out alagade if you read walter icon if you read walter icons biography of steve jobs one of the last big big biographies i read you will know that story in and out ada idu typical case அதே மாதிரி அண்ட் சம்டைம்ஸ் கர்மா பிளேஸ் அ ரோல் ஆல்சோ ஐ தெல்யூ வாட் ஆப்பிள் தென் ஐ வாஸ் அ கிட் ராசி சிமெண்ட்ஸும் ஒரு பெரிய ஆந்திரா பேஸ் கம்பெனி இருந்தது தி ப்ரமோட்டர் ஹேட் அ மைனர் ஷேர் ஹோல்டிங் என் சீனிவாசன் வாஸ் அ மச் யங்கர் வர்ஷன் ஆஃப் வாட் இ ஈஸ் டுடே அண்ட் என் சீனிவாசன் என்ன பண்ணால் ராசியோட சன் இன் லாவை மாயிட்டான் ராசி சிமெண்ட்ஸோட சன்னில் வாங்கிட்டு ராசி சிமெண்ட்ஸோட ஓனரை த மேன் ஹூ பில்ட் ராசி சிமெண்ட்ஸை நோ படி ஆகிட்டான் ஸோ ஹீ வாட் ஹீ வாஸ் ஃபோர்ஸ் டு கோ இன் தட் கை தட் ஓல்ட் மேன் டின் கோ ஈஸிலி அதை வந்து ஹீ இல் கோ டோன் கர்சிங் அண்ட் ஃபைட்டிங் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி பே பேக் என்னன்னா இவன் ஹிஸ் டாட்டர் சன்னோட ஹீ ஃபெல் அவுட் ஓவர் செக்ஷுவாலிட்டி ரைட்டா ஹீஸ் அ கே சன் இஸ் அ கே so stinivasan disinherits him. and uh, this fellow the daughter da hope rupa rupa what she marries a dumb she falls for a sucker avm oda parana kalyanam nikira avan patam class pass thanni edich the soap party avan peru guru nadan nu peru that fellow doesn't pass 10 standard so fit for nothing guy அவன் பொண்ணு கல்யாணம் பண்ணிட்டான் அவனை தூக்கி சிஎஸ்கே ஆளாக போட்டான் அவன் ஏதோ பெட்டிங் ஸ்கேமில் மாட்டத்தினால டூ இயர்ஸு சிஎஸ்கேயை பேன் பண்ணுறாங்க நீ இன்னைக்கு ராசி சிமெண்ட்ஸை பண்ணத யூஸிங் அ டம் சன் இன் லா ஓன் சன் இன் லா வச்சு உனக்கு பண்ணிடுச்சு நேச்சர் ஸோ ஆல்வேஸ் தெர் இஸ் அ பே பேக் and that's why you should always pay mm. heed if you are someone who is your colleague or your subordinate who is acting very dumb or is you think is very stupid think twice yes. you do not know what their ulterior motive is mm. 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 so you should always have your guard up Adha. never assume anyone is someone who is stupid is stupid someone who is smart don't assume them to be smart always check and on and on the podcast of the many check and verify check and verify than solluvar so trust but verify ama trust but verify sorry trust but verify so always trust but verify interesting yeah we went to hugli meer jafar yetappan yen srinivasan a lot of things mm, catch up tomorrow with law 22 okay boss thanks bye bye